Hi guys, welcome to Chris Fine Golf. We're at the Belfry again today at the PGA National Golf Academy. And we're gonna do a video today looking at the weight shift on the downswing, looking at what we should actually do and, and when things should happen to give us better contacts, better shots, and obviously better scores. So I think most golfers would be aware that on the through swing, we wanna transfer our weight onto our lead foot. So in my case, I was like my left foot. And most golfers would be fairly happy that when we finish our golf swing, we'd wanna have pretty much 100% of our weight on our lead foot. What often golfers don't understand is, is how this should happen and when this should happen. So if we quickly go through some of the things that I, I tend to see or some of the things I tend to hear people tell me, uh, and we're gonna go through why these are wrong and actually what we can do to make it better. So one of the things I see, this is more from people who are sort of maybe beginning the game. They often believe that as the golf club swings through, the weight of the golf club, the momentum of that golf club will pull the golfer onto their lead foot. So the weight finishes here because of what the golf club has done. Now that's not strictly the case. What we should be doing is we, uh, as the golfer, should be moving our weight uh, in order to de deliver the club correctly. So if we look at what we'd actually want to happen at contact, at the point of contact with you know, majority of golf clubs when you're making full swings, not maybe so much for pitch shots or, you know, especially shots, but for full swings, at the point of contact, you would want around about 80% of pressure or 80% of weight on your lead leg. What this is going to do is it's going to help you get the handle into the right position, it's going to help you sort of put the body in the right position, and it's going to help you basically deliver the club in the correct fashion to hit some better shots. So, if we've got 80% of weight on the lead leg at impact, when does that actually happen? Well, what we'd actually want to have is through the hitting area, we'd want the weight to be pretty, pretty stable, so not really shifting too much. So a good golfer would generally get 80% of that pressure through that lead leg by about here in the downswing. So around about halfway into the downswing, so around about club, you know, about last parallel before it makes contact, we would already want that pressure through this lead leg, throw 80% through this lead leg, and then from here, we can just stabilize our body, a bit of rotation, we can deliver the golf club. What we don't want to try and do is have the weight, maybe let's say 50-50 here, and then trying to get onto that lead leg as we go through impact. So we're gonna go through a really simple drill, which is gonna help you to sort of feel this and sense this. Um, it's, it's a drill where we're not gonna hit any shots, um, but then we will take it, obviously, two hit shots and try and implement the same sort of things. So what I want you to do, Take a starting position with any golf club really. Mid iron's probably not a bad idea. I've got a six iron here. And I just want you to try and feel that you're gonna make a backswing and you're gonna to start to put some pressure through that lead leg by the time the club reaches last parallel, okay? So I'm just gonna give you a demonstration for that. So we're gonna go back and then we're gonna feel that I use my legs and I'm gonna feel that I put some pressure through that lead leg there. So I'm trying to put that pressure through that lead leg. I certainly feel a bit more pressure through there now. Right foot feels a lot lighter, but I've got that club about last parallel here. I've not tried to do it sort of as the club's being delivered to the ball, okay? So just a really, really simple drill. We're gonna go back and we're gonna put some pressure through that lead leg, making sure we do that before the club reaches last parallel. Once you feel that, then you can just start to rotate out the way into a nice full finish. So what we wanna make sure that we are doing correctly is that we're doing that with the lower body. So I'm trying to feel that my hips and my legs are making that move for me. So from that camera angle there, what you'll probably see is there's a little bit of a lateral movement in my lower body in order to do that. You'll see some knee movements, you'll see some lateral hip movements. Hopefully what you won't see is any upper body movement, okay? What we're trying to do here is we're trying to feel that we put some pressure through that lead leg. What we're not trying to do is make a backswing and then simply move our body weight over here. I certainly feel that there's more weight through this lead leg now, but that was done incorrectly. So trying to do that with a pretty steady head is key, because that's gonna help you with contact. But let's make some back swings, start the down swing this way, and then we can go ahead through to a full finish. So let me go ahead and hit one. Try and do this as a, a normal golf swing. So I'm gonna take my address position. I'm just gonna do a couple of little rehearsals first, just to give myself the right sort of feeling. So I'm gonna go backswing, start down, get that feeling, and then go ahead and try and recreate that. Okay, pretty good. Pretty happy with the strike. Certainly felt pretty stable through impact. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit one more. 
So again, I'm trying to do this with the lower body, I'm trying to shift that pressure to that lead leg by the time the club reaches last parallel. Okay, and again, pretty good shot again. Okay, so hopefully that clears up a little bit about body weight. We do want it to on the lead leg at impact, but it's important that we understand when it should get there. If it gets there far too early, we're gonna struggle, or if it gets there far too late, we're gonna struggle. And the big thing here is that we don't want the golf club to pull our body into the follow through position. We want the body to be controlling the golf club into the right position so that we can deliver the club to the ball with power and consistency and hit better shots. So thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Post any comments down below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. And thanks for watching the video. Uh, all these videos are free. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And there's more content going up each week. So we'll see you again soon.